My coverage of CES 2018 from Las Vegas, Nevada is brought to you by Cooler Master, Enermax, OCZ Toshiba, and Deepcool. All right, guys, I am over at Caesars Palace now, and I'm checking out Enermax. They are a sponsor, of course, so big thanks to Enermax for sponsoring my coverage. And they have, uh, let's see, a new case, some new coolers, uh, even some custom liquid cooling parts. So let's take a look. So first off, we're taking a look at the Sabre Ray, and this is actually a case that Enermax has made previous in the past, and they've updated it. They've add, uh, added some RGB elements, uh, so you can see some strips across the front. The Enermax logo lights up. And they're also just recently adding a tempered glass side panel, not just on this side over here, the main side, but also on the opposite side, so you get a full tempered glass experience front, back, and sides as well. Uh, now this case, they don't have a final price on yet. It's gonna be in the $150 to $200 range. But as you can see, it's fully kitted out uh, with Enermax fans. Those are the TB RGB fans. These are new for CES 2018. Uh, you can connect them up via a standard four pin RGB header. Uh, and they, are, they look quite pretty. They have sort of three concentric rings around the outside of the fans. Uh, and from what I can tell here on the, the uh, suite, they're actually pretty quiet as well. Now one of the things I enjoyed about this case was the fact that you don't have to connect up the RGB controls to the motherboard. You can do that, of course, via a standard 4-pin header, but they've also included a control unit up on top there. So if you don't have a motherboard with uh, RGB LED controls, you can just use those controls up on the very top, right near the I.O. And also up there for I.O., you got a couple USB 2.0 ports, a couple USB 3.0 ports, as well as fan control, power reset, and all that good stuff. Inside this case, and transitioning to another product, uh, is the Liquitec 2. Now, I have actually used the Liquitec 2 TR4 edition that's specifically made for Threadripper, and it's fast becoming one of my favorite all-in-one closed-loop coolers. I just think it's a nice, clean design. Uh, you got a very simple Enermax glowing logo there, and they've added RGB to that as well. Uh, and these units are going to be available in uh, 280, 240, and 360 millimeter sizes. The smallest 240 version that we're looking at right here is going to be 120 bucks. Uh, for 280, it's going to be 130 bucks, and for the 360, it's going to be 140 bucks. Now these do have compatibility with uh, mainstream AMD sockets, so AM4, as well as Intel sockets. The only thing these won't work with is the Threadripper sockets, and that is because Threadripper has a specifically designed uh, block on there that's larger to provide a little bit more contact area. But if you're uh, rocking an Intel mainstream platform, an LGA 1151 CPU, or even a Skylake X, uh, uh, X299 LGA 2066, uh, you'll be all set with this cooler. Moving over to the rest of Enermax's stuff, here's a quick look at uh, some more TB RGB fans. Again, new for 2018, and just a, kind of a closer look at the actual LED design on those, which looks pretty nice. Uh, they're also introducing a new lineup of TB Silence fan. These are TB Silence Advanced. Uh, they've redesigned these, and they've added sort of a, an aluminum ring around the outside that actually looks pretty cool. So these are going to be less for your blingy RGB builds and more for actual, you know, practical stuff, like making a silent computer. Um, so these, uh, they have, again, a couple demos running back here. From what I can tell anecdotally, they're, they're quite quiet, and since they are TB silent, so you would expect them to be very, very quiet. And Enermax makes some really solid fans. These do maintain the ability to pop off uh, the central fan hub, so you can uh, get much more in, in there when it comes to cleaning the fan out if you've been using it for a while. Uh, but overall, probably another nice fan option for anyone who's looking for a really silent build. Here's an Enermax Equilence case. I just recently did a, a video on this, so check that out if you're interested. But inside, they've actually got some custom liquid cooling parts, including a CPU block that's right there. It's got standard G1 quarter fittings on it. It is actually in an AM4 configuration right now, so uh, they do have compatibility for Intel and AMD on those. Now they've paired that up with a Neo Changer, uh, which is a reservoir and a pump at the bottom. The Enermax actually designed this pump themselves. It's not an Ace Attack or uh, Lang or anything like that. It's made by Enermax, or at least designed, manufactured by them. And this is actually the same pump that they use in the Liquitec coolers. So um, it's, a very, it's a very good pump. It's also versatile. Uh, in this configuration, they've optimized a little bit more for uh, liquid flow versus uh, in the TB designs where they optimize a little bit more for silent operation. Here's a quick look at the 360 rad version of that Liquitec 2 cooler uh, for Intel sockets. And also it comes with a breakout unit that you can, you can use to individually control the LED on the Enermax uh, logo there and you can cycle through um, some presets and that kind of thing. You can of course connect that up directly to your motherboard as well and use motherboard controls for it. Here's an interesting new uh, all-in-one liquid cooler. This is called Liquifusion. Liqui 
Everything starts with LIQ. Now, bear in mind, guys, they're actually having a little bit of an issue with the LEDs on this demo unit they have here, so it's not going to look exactly like this. But these are addressable LEDs, and they have a very unique design here for the pump block. And in fact, they've integrated a flow indicator into it there, as well as addressable LEDs that go around the outside. And they are working uh, with the top four motherboard manufacturers, such as ASUS and Gigabyte, to make sure that their addressable LED software will work with this as well. So uh, again, coming in 2018, a new launch, and this is just another option for anyone who's looking for a closed loop liquid CPU cooler uh, that also you know, has a lot of bling going on. Now finally here is a mining rig that Enermax has set up, and uh, you guys may or may not be into mining, but uh, I know one thing, Luke. Luke really loves mining. He's, he's all about the mining. He, he mines the Bitcoins and the Dogecoins. Uh, he also mines Ethereum. And I believe he's working on his own coin. It's called Floatcoin. Yep. It's going to be Float, Float Coin Club. But this, uh, the, apart from all that, this mining rig is actually powered by a new power supply that uh, Enermax is developing right now. They said they're only going to be distributing it initially to system integrators, but possibly will bring it to a full launch at retail as well at some point in the future. Uh, this is made for mining because it is very high efficiency. Uh, it has a, a wattage readout down there in the bottom via an LED so you can actually actively look and see how much power your mining rig is drawing at any given moment. And then it's got a turbo button and turbo buttons are just cool. They're really cool. The turbo button actually would just jack up the fan speed to en enhance the efficiency of the components inside cooler components usually more efficient and efficiency is what mining is all about but guys that's going to wrap it up for my coverage here at the Enermax suite uh, at Caesars Palace yeah. and Luke is here just, Hi. He, I, I wanted to show you guys that he's here because we always like to hang out at, at these events and also just to confirm that everything I said about Luke's mining operation is absolutely true yes yeah how, how, what's the what's the market cap on the uh, float plane coin you right know now? right now we're probably speculating about 1.2 billion okay uh, but right. in terms of like overall coins that will be available we'll be doing some free mining but we're looking at probably roughly 1.4 million coins total nice yeah. that's very exciting everyone go out and start mining float Float plane, float plane coin? Float plane, float, yeah. Float yeah, plane float plane coin. coin. It's really yeah. exciting. Anyway, a uh, big thank you, of course, to my sponsors for CES 2018. Enermax, of course, Deep Cool, Cooler Master, and OCC Toshiba. I'll be back with more coverage very soon. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out. and Go check out the Linus Media Group yeah. coverage as well. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.